tough game for our players tonight. We came out and played uh, pretty well defensively in the first half until the seven minute mark. We had that lead and gave up some threes and a lot of three point shooters, a couple of them, three of them to be exact. But we, uh, we battled and uh, just uh, unfortunately, uh, as well as we played defensively at times tonight, we just not, did not play very well offensively with our shot making and our uh, finishing around the rim. We just couldn't, couldn't get any, a lot of easy baskets. And um, uh, unfortunately, uh, got outplayed in certain areas tonight. And uh, I'll take the blame for that. Why have those ends of first halves been tough? The ends of first halves? Yeah. Well, we, sometimes the whole game is tough. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I don't, I'm not sure about the ends of first halves. So I haven't really tracked that uh, as far as. Uh, you know, so, sometimes the beginning of the second half is tough. Sometimes the beginning of the game, and so you know, we we look at it a forty-minute game. And you seem to be consistent with Fred on the offensive glass tonight. Yeah, I know it was ten nothing at halftime. We made a point of that. Where, where's the message getting lost with the team to to box out and rebound? Well, we we started a big lineup, so we thought it would be a little more effective than that. Um, as I said, we, uh, we held, uh, held them to 35% from the field for the game, 28 in the second half, and started out the game very well, mixed his own and man up, and had a little trouble rebounding out of the zone. Some of his long shots they missed, but then uh, uh, they, uh, they hurt us on the offensive glass, and uh, Bona was, uh, put a lot of pressure on us, and if he didn't get the ball, he was creating uh, sometimes two of us blocking him out. Uh, well, Brian's been uh, a couple of guys were out of practice with sicknesses this week, and uh, and then um, we uh, uh, were getting healthy, trying to get healthy, and then we thought uh, with, with Josh and Vince together, uh, give that a shot uh, defensively, and it worked early because defensively we were had a lot of size and length on the court, and um, uh, so so it wasn't the only uh, the only issue we had was finishing around the rim, and, and so I know those guys missed a couple. Uh, easy shots that they normally make. Did you attribute some questions defensively after that stretch? I mean, you set up a, a lengthy amount of time in the rest of the stretch. Did we sit for a little bit too long? It, it felt like UCLA made a really good run during that time. Uh, as I said, we, we, uh, we know our players better than you do. Um, you know, what they go through on a practice and, 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 and how they're feeling and things like that. So. Sometimes it's not always when you, when you look out there. It's, it's sometimes uh, uh, not exactly what it seems. Andy, how do you think the, the players will look at this game? I mean, Mike said Mike Longwell and, and they still had a lot of games to go. What do you do when you have that many games to go? Uh, keep them focused. Is that what you yeah, said? And, and well, look, they're, they're, they're college basketball players. We've had a lot of setbacks, you know, but, but everybody. At, this is what they play for. So, so they were focused tonight. They they came out. They gave good. They played well in the first half and had energy. And we they, we went on that. Uh, uh, they went on that run, uh, and uh, it snowballed on us. So, so we, uh, uh, as, far, as far as their focus, I hope they're focused. You know, this is big time college basketball. You have a sold out crowd against your crosstown rival. And I assume they were focused. I mean, as a, as a head coach, sometimes you go into a game, you feel great, you think you're going to play great, and you don't. Sometimes you're not sure, and then you play great. You know, so it's very, very unpredictable. Uh, and and uh, we're playing a good team. The UCLA's playing better, and they uh, uh, they played very good defensively tonight, and they rebound the ball. Uh, but as far as keeping them focused, and look, we we don't yell and scream, we don't braid our guys. You know, we we we, we try to keep keep them positive. We uh, we enjoy coaching this team. They're, they're, Really nice young men. Re we we went walk in the gym and we have a smile on our face and we really enjoy this team. They they um, and we've had a little, we've had a lot of struggles this year, and um, uh, it, it's been very uh, choppy with the personnel we've had available for each game and each week. And uh, it certainly has affected our practices and affected our play at times. But as far as the attitudes and, and uh, yeah, we love this team. You know, as a, and, the, and they're they're as good a young men as we've ever coached. So. so uh, they they practice hard and uh, and so there's no nothing there that uh, is is negative on that end at all. Well, uh, I think you saw in the row we missed our ball handlers last week with uh, Isaiah and uh, Isaiah Collier and Boogie Ellis, our two leading scorers. So when you're out. Th 
you're, you're, you're not, you don't have 36 to 40 points a night plus your assists and uh, your experience uh, with Boogie and, uh, you know, and Josh Morgan was sick. So I think when you say, uh, you know, the, the, the losses on the road, those four games, it's really hard. It's, it's hard because uh, now you're, you're taking your two, your two leading scorers out of the lineup and, and then everybody has to do things that they haven't done before. And, uh, uh, and, and it's a little tricky offensively. That's why we haven't scored 70 points yet in those, in those, those five games since we've had the injuries and, and the sicknesses. So uh, offensively, we've got to keep plugging away. Uh, we've got to get more easy baskets, and we've got to finish around the rim. Um, we, we could have scored you know, the, the, the points in the paint tonight were 22 to 14, but we must have missed, uh, I mean, I could give you the exact numbers, but, but we missed over 10 shots in the paint, maybe 12 or 13. Well, we played them one more time this year uh, at UCLA, and it's a great rivalry. It's uh, we've had a lot of great games over the years with them, and uh, they do a great job. They, uh, they have good players, good coaching staff, and uh, and, and you know, fortunately, uh, for over the last seven, eight years, both teams have been very good, and we've had a lot of great games over the years. Now I know we're struggling this year with with a variety of things, and and uh, so. Uh, we look. Uh, we enjoy playing UCLA. It's it's, it's great for uh, the league. It's great for the city. And uh, unfortunately, tonight they played better than us. Yeah, we we have great. We're really appreciative. We had great fan support. The students were out there. You know, there are a lot of students here. Um, so we're very appreciative of the fan support, the student support, in our, in our uh, on campus and. Um, it was a great environment to play in. Uh, we we just didn't hold up uh, our part of the <laughs> part of the game. We, we we needed to play a little better, and uh, uh, you know we're gonna keep working. Well, I think you always feel pressure when you lose. It's, it's no one likes to lose. You know, our players don't like it, the coaches don't like it, and the fans don't like it. So it's yeah, it, th there's pressure to win every every game you play, and certainly when you have some adversity, it, it makes it a little harder, and you got to fight through that. Um, I've been doing this a long time since 1994. It's you know, 29, 30 years ago. You know, so I've been in, in this game off and on a long time, and so uh, I've seen five-game losing streaks. I've seen five-game winning streaks, and uh, we've had we've had a lot of those here. You know, we've had winning streaks. So, so you got you know, when when things don't go your way, you got you got to try to figure it out and uh, keep improving. And that's why we love our team because they're keeping a positive attitude and they, and uh, they're trying to get better. Yeah, well, Boogie came out and made those three shots, and then I thought, you know, you could tell his timing's a little off. He, he has he only practiced it one day, you know, in the last three weeks, you know. So he he just, uh, uh, you know, he, he, you could just tell he he's not he's not quite back yet uh, to where he needs to be. He he needs uh, to keep getting stronger and get 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 his win back and his timing back, and I'm sure he will soon. Uh, well, they got a couple threes. Uh, we made two two rotation mistakes in, uh, on the zone and one in the uh, man. And they, they they give them credit. They made they made it when they were they had to. And then they were out they got on transition a couple times uh, and, and got some layups. We were able to get some layups. So uh, we only had eight turnovers, which is which is pretty good, you know. And uh, we had ten block shots. So we we did some some good things. I mean we. We held them to 35% from the field. We know we fouled them too much in the second half, but fouling three 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 point shooters, that's nine points or nine shots right there, free throws. So yeah, that's hard that's hard to come no matter what what the stats say in the other areas, if you foul three three point shooters in one game, um, that, that that gives the other team a significant advantage. Coach, talking about the missed free throws, uh, uh, a lot of the free throws there, you know, your your team allowed UCLA to shoot four of six in the first half, but four from eight in the second half. Your team was just, you know, fouling a lot in the second half. Yeah, I know. It's, we were fouling a lot. What kind of message can you give your team, like moving forward, to make sure they just kind of play without fouling? Well, you got to play with your feet, not your hands. And then, uh, you know, uh, we uh, this is the, the three three-point shooters. There's there's nine of your 24 free throws, and and uh, you know we fouled a couple on the rebounding, trying to box Bona out, and uh, and then uh, uh, I think three or four of those fouls were on on rebounding attempts. Yeah, 
Well, we posted Kobe up a couple of times, and he, he scored. He, you know, he took a turnaround. He also he threw the ball out. You know, Boogie had uh, opportunities. We, we ran screening action for him, ball screening action for him. We ran a couple of plays for Oziah to get him uh, going, one, one or two for Bronny. You know, so, uh, unfortunately, tonight we didn't really have a hot hand. So when you say who's the ball supposed to go to, I'm not too sure sometimes if, if uh, you know, the percentages aren't where they need to be. Our big guys were getting open looks, and they just weren't making them, uh, making a high percentage. So, so uh, yeah, it is, it is tough sometimes, uh, Rich, where, where you, uh, uh, you know, uh, off, offense is a team game, and you have to share the ball. You have to make plays for your teammates. And then when it's your time to step up and make a shot, you know, you, you hope you can do that at a, at a certain percentage. And uh, unfortunately, we, we had a little trouble doing that most of the game. Well, there's two things. Two things. We're not as good defensively, but the last four, the last few games, we're, we've improved. Now, I think we held Arizona 40% from the field tonight, 35. Arizona State, we held them in the low 30s, except the, but uh, not for the game because the live ball turnovers. When you turn the ball over and you give up live ball turnovers with layups or, or open threes at the other end, that really hurts your field goal percent defense. So our turnover percentage uh, ha has been tough, and 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 when you have your your two point guards hurt at the same time, and you're relying on other guys to, to make the decision and, and handle the ball against pressure, sometimes uh, they're not used to doing that for 40 minutes. And, and so I think the field goal percent defense is, a, is a, uh, a result of your how good you are defensively, number one. And then number two, if your live ball turnovers lead to open layups and open threes, that crushes your field goal percent defense just because if, if they get um, – 15, 20 points in, in a game on layups, you know, those, those are easy shots. That's, that's 10 for 10 from the field, and that, that adds up against your, your defense. So um, I think uh, uh, we, we made improvements uh, defensively in the last couple of weeks. We, we've uh, also we had eight turnovers tonight, but we, we turned the ball over on the road, and, uh, you know, on the last road trip without Isaiah and Boogie against that pressure. So uh, guys have to keep getting better with that. Well, our captains are Kobe Johnson and Boogie Ellis, so you would hope that they would be the vocal leaders. Uh, you don't have to be a captain to be a vocal leader. I think it's very important that there's leadership throughout the team. Uh, you know, one of the things uh, w with with this group is uh, at times we, we do need uh, leadership on the court, and I, I know guys are, are trying to work through that, work work on that. Uh, yeah, but I would say that our two captains they need to step up because they're they're. That's why they're captains. Uh, they were voted on that by their teammates, and uh, they're very good players, respected guys, and they, you know, for the most part, they've done a good job. Well, they, they uh, said that was that was 17 to four, and we lo and basically lost the game by that that same same amount. So yeah, we we, we goes back to our easy buckets. We missed so many lane shots tonight, and. Uh, we didn't get the easy baskets, you know, and that puts pressure on your defense because now you're missing easy shots uh, or lane shots, and, and now you go go defend, and then you give up an offensive rebound, and it's kind of deflating after a while. And, and uh, you know, Bona was tough to box out, but also Stevanovic had five offensive rebounds, and we had balls go through our hands tonight. We probably had four or five, five of those rebounds where our big guys had the ball in their hands and went right through them. And, and we got to come up with those. We got to get the loose balls. And, you know, it's, it's hard to say. Yeah, so we were disappointed with that discrepancy in um, second chance points. It was a big factor in the game. Thanks, Andy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, um, but that's no excuse. Uh, I got to get um, my feet underneath me and, you know, just uh, get back in shape. Um, I mean, I got to 
to give it to him at Dan Bowen. He's a very good rebounder. He plays hard every single possession. Um, a couple of rebounds is very long ball. If you were catching at the free throw line, obviously that's me, Vince, Kajani, all of our bigs. That's that's really on us. There's not much excuse for that. Um, so, I mean, it doesn't really matter what they were doing. At the end of the day, it's me and the other bigs. We got to, you know, step up and rebound. Oh uh, yeah, um, I feel like they did a good job of denying, um, denying the guards, um, uh, making it where um, we had to do we had to backdoor a lot and just taking away um, the guards from getting the ball. So I mean, they did a great job with that, and um, I felt that's why our offense was kind of stagnant. Um, we were getting denied the ball. I mean, I'll, I don't know. I really couldn't even tell you. I have to watch the film on that. But, you know, they started hitting threes. Um, I think our zone kind of got exposed a little bit. I don't know if some guys were tired or, you know, um, there was definitely some rotational errors. Um, and for whatever reason, we just kind of had a, a little bit of a defensive lapse. And, and then they capitalized on it and they kind of just ran with it from the end of the second, the end of the first half all the way to the end of the game. So, I mean, I, I, there's not really much to say about that. Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, I feel like there's a, supposed to be a sense of urgency when, when we lost that first game. But um, yeah, uh, going into February, I feel like we've got to lock in. We've got to stack up some wins. And then uh, everything we're doing now is preparing uh, for the for the Pac-12 tournament. You know, we've got to get sound defensively, get our offense, you know, um, figured out. Um, I feel like we're doing a great job um, defensively. We're holding teams 35% from the field, doing things like that. We just got to figure it out offensively, I feel like. Uh, we got to be able to put the ball in the basket. Um, you know, uh, f from here on out, I feel like we just need to uh, focus on, um, you know, doing what we can do and, you know, taking it one game at a time, getting better uh, for the Pac-12 tournament because uh, we, uh, we have to win it. Um, I mean, I'm sure coaches talked about it. We try and keep as positive as possible. Obviously, um, it's no secret that the season hasn't gone exactly the way we wanted to. But at the end of the day, I mean, no one's in there um, making it like a very toxic environment. No one's pointing fingers at each other, calling people out their names. No one doing, no one's doing any of that. So, you know, at the end of the day, we're a team. Um, we're family. That's you know what you always preach for any team. So. Even though we're having our lapses, um, whether it's defensive or offensively, or just you know winning and losing, um, we're obviously frustrated. Any team in this situation would be, but at the end of the day, we try and keep as together as possible. Yeah, you know, um, I feel like um, other guys, we, we got to step up. Um, I feel like, um, you know, Zay, he does a great job of getting in the paint, drawing a lot of, he draws a lot of attention. Um, and, you know, um, teams can't really sit in the gaps as much because he's going to find the open shooter and stuff like that. Um, so I just feel like we just got to, you know, uh, continue to, you know, move the ball, um, you make our open shots, um, you know, feed the ball in the post, play inside out. Um, you know, uh, get these guys some touches and, you know, just at the end of the day, we just got to make shots. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. Um, uh, throughout my college experience, I've been through a lot. Um, 
never lost five in a row, but, um, you know, it's tough. Um, I've highs and lows, uh, but at the end of the day, we just got to keep going, um, keep trying to get better, um, stay together, because um, if we, we come apart, then um, it's not going to be good. Is there enough nasty on this team? Because I, I almost don't feel like the offense has been down this hard of a thing. You, you had that one putback. That might have been your nastiest play I've ever seen this year. Is there enough anger on this team that you can ever take it back to the table? Um, uh, I feel like at sometimes uh, we 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 gotta you know have have some more pride. Um, at the end of the day, um, we 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 had we had a lot of guys on last year's team who uh, really knew uh, how much it meant to us. You know, um, I feel like um, we just gotta you know establish the culture. We got a lot of young guys now. We just gotta you know we gotta want it more. No, um, honestly, at this point, I'm pretty much back to what I was beforehand. So there's no excuses over there. Yeah, I mean, honestly, um, I'm very hard on myself. So I feel like, you know, everything, um, you know, I feel like a lot of that stuff's on me. Um, uh, I feel like a lot of the stuff is on me. So. Um, we just got to, you know, I got to just continue to, you know, keep encouraging, um, keep, um, you know, staying positive and at the same time having that balance to let them know, you know, sometimes, you know, we got to have some urgency. Oh, yeah, they didn't let me catch the ball. They did a great job of face guarding me um, off of the ball. They didn't leave me. So they did a great job, honestly. Um, I did, there wasn't times where I was quite open, and they made me work hard every possession. Um, so, you know, they did a great job guarding me. Um, you know, I just got to um, uh, be better.